28-year-old artist Yung Chen has been painting for more than 10 years. He's a prolific painter and has sold quite a few pieces. But Yung has had to work very hard to get here. Yung couldn't hold the pen for the starting, but now he, he can move a bit and then he, he can draw something. His artwork also get a uh, silence auction for the first prize. It's really amazing. Yung Chen has had cerebral palsy since he was a baby. He was just 10 when his family came to New Zealand. After he finished high school, Yung pursued his passion for painting, a passion encouraged by a very supportive mother. If I can, I finish school, I, I always want to carry on with painting. He found a one, one class, it's like Spark, and he joined there. For, for beginning, he still cannot use the pen very well, so he find a bit difficult. But I just say, if you like, you, you go. Jung attended the Spark Center of Creative Development. The center offers art programs for adults with various disabilities. And Jung is one of the many who are reaping the benefits of art therapy. Our approach to art therapy here is absolutely about deep self-reflection and then equipping our artists with an understanding of techniques so they can therefore create good artworks that um, express the personal meaning. So that brings about a therapeutic outcome. I keep coming because I feel good when it helped me to express myself. Young has the potential to do anything he wants to do. Um, you know, he's got lots of ideas and it's, um, he can go anywhere he wants, really. It's just a matter of persistence. But in terms of a theme, he definitely tends to work within sort of the abstract expressionist um, genre and I think that's a very thought-provoking sort of area of, of practice. Two years ago, Jung also started attending the art therapy classes at Iris Rehabilitation, the disability services arm of the Cerebral Palsy Society. Art therapy is about um, having a place to express yourself and to um, gain clarity about your life and um, goals to um, work on difficult challenges and to um, move forward in your life. Some people already know how to paint and they might um, paint and express their ideas in that way. Other people uh, really just want to talk about how they feel and then um, maybe using some drawing materials helps them to express themselves a bit more. I think he get more confidence. He is, uh, he like, to, he can face to people very, you know, confidence, and then he likes to talk people. Adding to the confidence of the students is the pride they have in their creations, some of which are now showcased at Auckland Police Station. I've arranged for the Iris Group a tour of our station. Part of that tour, I've arranged for them to meet up with our crime scene attendants, where they then have uplifted their own fingerprints. Then they realise the similarity for using the uh, brush versus the painting brush and the same techniques that they use. And out of that, they have donated four fabulous paintings to Auckland Central Public Counter, which we're very proud of having here at our station. And this time last year, Jung proudly presented a collection of their paintings to Auckland Mayor Len Brown. I we can do Take it from Jung. He knows that if you put your mind to it, anything is possible. No matter what he wants to do in your life, don't stop. You go for it. You can 
put food in your life. Don't let other people put you down. Thank <music> you.